Hi, I'm Mike Rooney. Today's free art lesson is on homemade gadgets. Uh, a lot of times I like to make stuff that's uh, specific to my job as a plein air painter. A lot of times you can buy stuff and it's already there. Uh, other times you buy that and you tweak it or you, you uh, do something to it to make it suit your need better because they're just making it for the masses and a lot of times you need it for a specific purpose. So, uh, or they don't have it at all and you have to come up with your own stuff. So uh, that's kind of what this is. I'm going to go over some of the things that I've come up with that helped me uh, to be able to put everything into a backpack and go anywhere you know, that I want to and paint out of a backpack. So let's talk about the um, poche box that I made. Uh, I took a couple pieces of wood. This is built on a design they already have. It's just a clamshell type box. I just took pieces of wood and I made a frame and stuck plexiglass down in it. And you want, it, you want to have sides on it so that the paint doesn't fall off. And the plexiglass is for easy scraping so you can get the paint off really easy. It's hard to do it when it's that wood bottom. So put some plexiglass down there. And uh, this is a frame so that it's hollowed out in the middle. And I can put my panels on there. If I had a small panel, I could stick it on there. And I use these clips. I mean, they have these fancy, fancy boxes that have these spring-loaded things. And uh, I can get these a, a whole bag for like a dollar. So I just clip on the panel any size. I can actually work up to 12 by 16 on this one box right here. So anything from really small to 12 by 16. So you just clip it on at the size you need it or whatever. And it's mounted. Uh, I took the tripod mount and mounted it to the bottom of the uh, poche box and it mounts onto a, a, a photo uh, tripod. So I can pull this off, close it up, stick it in my, in my backpack, fold up the, uh, e uh, the tripod and just strap it to my backpack and go anywhere I want to paint. So that's one of the things homemade. It might have cost me, I don't know, $20 maybe, not even that, $10, $15 maybe. Uh, just clip on, you know, a piece of plastic to put my thinners in. Just use clips, you know, always carry these clips. These things are, they're wonderful because sometimes you have to clip things uh, outside or bungee cords or duct tape. That's three things you got to have. Clips, bungee cord, and duct tape if you're going to paint outside. Uh, let's see what else I made. I made a uh, paper towel holder just by, you know, putting on a piece of bungee cord and I stick that on my tripod. Or you can just hang it anywhere that you're working. Uh, I can take this portable studio anywhere, take it to an office building and paint outside while I'm waiting on somebody, or I can whip it out in, in, uh, inside. Uh, don't really have a studio. This is, my, this is my studio. So I need a thing to hold my paper towels on. Something else I made was a way to hold my brushes without the heads getting all smashed and crushed. So what I did is I just took a piece of cardboard and made a roll out of it, and then I stuck duct tape everywhere where I think it's going to wear out. So you know it's going to wear out right here. It's going to wear out on the bottom. So uh, really, I'll probably end up wrapping this whole thing with duct tape. I've uh, seen people or heard of people using PVC pipe. But this is super, super light. PVC pipe is a little bit heavier. So the lighter that you can go, the better. Then I made a little cap. You know, you can tell I like duct tape. I took duct tape and a piece of cardboard and just made me a little cap so the brushes don't, don't fall out. Uh, let's see, another thing that I made was this piece of uh, plastic that I used to frame uh, compositions with. I know you guys have seen viewfinders and things, and in one of the free art lessons I did, I talked about cutting out a piece of business card in a square and then using it as a, as a, a viewfinder, but I made one out of plastic. I went one step uh, more advanced, and I put 9 by 12 on this one, and I can look through the plastic and I can view my scene, I can get my scene the way I want it, and don't tell anybody because I might, uh, my reputation might suffer, but I take a piece of a grease pencil and I, I get it the way I want, and then I draw the basic outlines of some of the big shapes on the plastic. And then I can hold it down like this and sketch it right onto my canvas. So I'm cheating in a way, aren't I? But it's a really fast way to get the drawing down on the panel, because guess what? Nobody cares how long it takes you or, or if you missed the painting or not. It's important to get the drawing down quickly on that canvas. So if I have to use this, I do. 
Uh, it's a great, great tool. And I've got them in different sizes because sometimes the big ones don't work. So you do the same thing. You put it in on a smaller size. And I also uh, drew a little ruler on there in case uh, I'm doing something that's the same size. I can make a tick here with my grease pencil and measure it right onto my canvas. So that's a really neat way to uh, get a drawing down real quick onto a canvas. I'm going to do another quick lesson on sight drawing. So this, is, this will be explained too, how to sight draw and get it down quick on here. Another thing I made is this, uh, I didn't bring the other part with me, but I, sometimes I don't want to carry an umbrella. I've got a fancy umbrella that attaches to the uh, tripod now and it, it telescopes out and it swivels to different sizes. I actually spent some money one time to buy that with. But this is when I'm really traveling light. I just duct tape a piece of cardboard to my easel so I don't have to carry an umbrella. And all I do is I duct tape it here and here and it'll shield my palette and my painting from sunlight because you don't want a lot of glare when you're painting. So I just take duct tape and I duct tape it right there. I also have a music stand. It's only about that long. It's like, you know, a little music stand like you, you, you put your music on for a guitar lesson or something. And it folds out and, and opens up. And I'll set that down and tape this cardboard to the music stand. So that music stand will fit in my book bag too. So basically I call this my, my super, super lightweight umbrella when I don't want to carry an umbrella. So uh, those are a few of the things that I've uh, just made out of duct tape and cardboard. Uh, you know, your imagination's the limit, so get out there and make something that helps you paint better. Um, that's today's uh, free art lesson, and if you'd like to see more about me, uh, you can go to mikerooneystudios.blogspot.com.